九二七年四月二十八日，我永远忘不了那一天，那是父亲的避难日，离现在已经十六年了。那年春天，父亲每天夜里回来的很晚，有时候他留在家里埋头整理书籍和文件，我蹲在旁边，看他把书和有字的纸片投到火炉里去。父亲瞅了瞅我们。The reason lies from remembering my father, Li Dazhao, written by his daughter Li Xinhua in 1943. So, who is Li Dazhao? Why is he still remembered and respected by Chinese today? Four point five Japanese yen, or four cents per month, to study at Waseda University. This page from a century-old tuition book tells us something about the footprints of Li Dazhao, a co-founder of the Communist Party of China. Waseda University has, from Asia, the most many foreign students from the world have come to study here. This panel is about the えー、と各国から、えー、と来られた留学生の中で、えー、と世界で活躍をした、えー、と著名人を紹介しているパネルになります、えー、と中国の、えー、と李大昌さんも1914年に、えー、と本学に、えー、と入学されています。During his time in Japan, Li read extensively on different schools of thought from Western books, journals, and newspapers. Iso Abe was the pioneer who introduced socialism to Japan. Although Li did not directly take his course, some researchers believed that Abe had a great influence on Li, and his thought sparked the transformation of Li's thinking towards socialist ideology. 1921年の中国共産党の成立っていうことで我々あの世界史とかで記憶させられるあのものなんですけどその,あの前段階というか20世紀初頭の東アジアにおけるまあ社会主義を含めたそういった人々の関心あのあこの川上はじめの貧乏物語のようなものも含めてですけれども。当時の人々がどういった世の中に対してあるいは社会に対してどういった関心を寄せていたのかとかあのこの社会をどうやって変えたらいいのかそういったものが社会主義というものにあの集約されていると思うんです。で中国の人も日本の人も同じ時期に同じような関心社会的な関心を共有していたということですので。On September 9, 1914, Li was admitted to the School of Political Science and Economics at Waseda. 5 yen in September, 4.5 in October, 4.5 again in November. This is a record of Li Dazhao's tuition costs, but it came to a sudden stop. In fact, Li left Waseda on February 2, 1916, long before his fixed graduation date. The obvious question is, why exactly did he terminate his studies? In January 1915, the then Japanese Prime Minister Shigenobu Okuma and his cabinet secretly proposed the 21 demands against China. The demands called for Japan to exercise control over China in a variety of ways. Chinese students studying in Japan strongly responded, and Li also actively joined the protests. They refused to take courses taught by Kazutami Yukita, a strong advocate of the 21 demands, and some of the Japanese professors. He also drafted an open telegram titled Message to Fellow Countrymen to Protest Against Japan's Bullying and Outrageous Demands, which gained wide circulation in China. Li returned to China in 1916 and was appointed chief librarian 
of Peking University two years later. And in 1920, he concurrently became an economics professor. This is the study of Li Dazhao's former residence in Beijing. It was the place where Li and other pioneers discussed, prepared, and held many communist meetings. It was also during this period of time in this residence that he wrote The Victory of Bolshevism and How I Perceive Marxism and comprehensively expounded Marxist theories in the New Youth, the principal journal for cultural movements and of the university's new Western-oriented populace. His work and lectures on Marxism influenced many young people who later became important communist leaders including Mao Zedong and Zhou Enlai. This is the history for Tomorrow Museum at Waseda University. Inside, lines of words quoted from an article titled Youth, written in the spring of 1916 by Li Dazhao, are displayed. Young people should work to advance world civilization, promote mankind's well-being, and inject fresh vigor into human society.